And so you see, the aperture actually gets wider the lower the f-stop gets. Did I really forget my eyeliner? Ahem. Ahem. Did you really need that cough like that? It's kind of annoying. This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I know that. So pay attention to the photography lecture in photography class. I'll be done in like two seconds. Just calm down. Now, Nicole. Okay, fine. Wonderful. As I was saying... You can't uh, talk like that to her. I can talk any way I like, Jessica. That's not my name. See? You don't respect any of the girls. A guy could just whip his dick out in here and you just politely say, that's enough. You're on thin ice right now. You're on your fourth wife right now because you couldn't make it as a photographer. I heard it was only three. That's it. Both of you have detention this afternoon. Great. I feel like I see you two every week now. Swear to God, it wasn't even our fault. What she said, except for the swear to God part. I'd like to think God isn't keeping tabs on 17-year-old girls. Oh, so in your spiritual worldview, God only keeps tabs on fully matured women? Yeah, Miss Lynn. Back that divine ass up. Enough! When it comes to repeat offenders, it's no longer a them problem, it's a you problem. And? Yeah, I really don't see what you're getting at. Would either of you like to explain to me why you're in my office from photography yet again? Nicole? What? Yes, Nicole. Do tell. He didn't already tell you? Oh, he did. I'm just curious to hear your side of the story. And Mr. White said... Said you were talking out of turn with extreme vulgarity. Well, yeah, you would too if he was groping you all over mid-lecture. Excuse me? Yeah, what? Mr. White is a pervert, and he's been pulling this shit for, like, years now. Really now? Oh, you don't believe me? Your friend Jessica here was there, too, and also seems quite surprised at your claim. Well, she's just in shock from years of abuse, right? You could call it that. Uh Uh-uh, I see what's going on here. Just because I'm an openly feminist woman in power doesn't mean I'll believe any girl who walks in with a last-minute accusation. Well, I guess you're just a non-feminist woman in power because I'm catching ours left and right from this fucking guy and you don't even believe me. Oh, would you like me to call your parents then? It's so serious they should know too, don't you agree? Oh my god. Uh, you know, yeah, do it. I'll be in the back room then. What are you doing? Not getting in trouble? What if she calls my parents too over the shit? I don't want to deal with this, Nicole. Relax, I'll just tell everyone he threatened to kill you if you squealed. This isn't Juilliard, I can't fake that. Look, she probably won't even call yours anyway, don't freak out over it. Let's hope you're right. I'll take it to court if I have to. Nicole, why was your principal on the phone telling me you may or may not have been sexually assaulted? Oh, that. Uh, it was probably just an April Fool's prank. It's October. No, yeah, I know that. It's actually school pride week where we just do the holidays all fucky. Thursday's Rosh Hashanah. Could I pass for Jewish? What bush are you beating around here? Okay, fine. My photography teacher was getting really touchy-feely with, uh... Touchy-feely where? Where did he touch you? My essential areas. Are you being serious with me? If not, you're in big trouble. Well, in that case, Mom, I wouldn't joke about this. His fingers were like in. I believe you, sweetheart. Oh, awesome. You rock, Mom. So what's for dinner? But if this really happened, I'm not very fond of your principal's dismissive tone. I never thought we'd have to do this at a school so nice, but I'm calling a lawyer. No way, you're you're actually going to do something about it? Aren't we broke? Oh, I just tell you that so you never ask me to buy you things. This is serious. Wow. I mean, you know good lawyers? I've been married eight times. I'm well connected. Well, good. Let's pin Mr. White in his child molesting ways. How exactly does he even isolate you? There's so many people there as it is. Isolate? I don't get it. Well, he has to get you girls alone somehow to have his way. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, he just does it right in the middle of class. You're joking. Yeah, just grabbing titties with no shame. He threatens to kill us if we tell anyone. That is unfucking believable I know. There's like 29 of us. That's a whole lot of killing. You know what? I'm just seeing red right now. I will spare no expense to make sure this pervert's under the jail. So, Nicole, in your own words, what happened at school on the day of the 18th? Yeah, okay, so I'm just doing my makeup in class, not bothering anyone or anything, and Mr. White had a huge problem with that. I see. Go on. His face was totally calm while he proceeded to flip the whole desk over. 
And it's an art class, so the table's huge. Big enough for four kids. Really now? Yeah, he grabbed me to a standing position, getting right behind and grinded against me. In front of all the students, too. Then his hands started massaging my breasts. It was so... Wait, I- I'm sorry. One hand on both of them. Yeah. I hope the jury notes these logistical inaccuracies. Well, see, I'm a tiny 17-year-old minor, and his man hands were more than big enough to wrap around half my body. <gasps> Fine, then. Continue. So then he's poking his tongue all over my neck and whispering things I'd rather not repeat. You're under oath now, Nicole. Huh. Well, you asked for it. He called me his voluptuous teen property and said my sexual willingness would pull a fine ransom on the black market. (gasps) All right, all right, enough of this. No, this is hard. Keep going. This is quite the imagination you have, but... Really, people? Are we going to believe this charade when the schools show no other evidence of misconduct from its faculty? You have a lot of explaining to do. We'll wait. So, just because no one said anything means it isn't happening? You all have internet and texting now. Surely it would have gotten out. Even if someone did say something, who's better connected? The 16-year-old girl who doesn't hang out at the local sports bar? Or some dipshit with a whistle who knows 12 synonyms for quarterback? And what's the implication here? Men listen to other men? Male teachers, male superintendent, male security guards, male everything. Male everything. However, a female principal? (gasps) When you look like Miss Lynn, you could be governor, let alone principal. Are you telling the jury she's only in that position because of the physical favors she can offer as a woman? No, it's not a woman thing, it's a she's attractive thing. You think ugly bitches get handouts? Could we please show the jury a faculty headshot of Principal Lin? What the fuck does this have to do with anything? You're in the court of law, please act like it. You're beating around the bush. The gym teacher has asked me out like three times since I've been here, and the counselor gives every girl a lecture on normalizing pedophilia. Now surely you don't believe this? Oh, let me read the last few texts from Coach Colby then. Hey sexy, you up? How deep is your throat? I want to murder my wife and shower you in the life insurance payout. And they still have this guy? Why is he able to be on the payroll? Settle down! Mr. Colby was fired and incarcerated months ago, promptly after a few reports. You just said no one ever reported anything like five minutes ago. Damn it! Oh, Coach is texting me again. Hey, honey, just got out of jail. Good news, they're giving me my job back so we can still hang out. Nicole, you've been my hardest cross-examination yet. Oh, well, you've just been a bitch in general. Go iron your Mickey Mouse tie. It's been about a year since the trial. We won 500000 in the civil suit, and I immediately dropped out and moved to L.A. Dressing nice and maintaining my new expensive drug habit is cool, but the school's tax dollars paying for it is so hot. I met another Nicole while I was out here. She's kind of famous.